a mystery item is on its way to the repair shop. Stefan Ward and his 10-year-old daughter, Jessica, have brought another member of the family who has seen better days. Hello. 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 Pleased to meet you. Julie. Welcome to the repair shop. Julie Tatchell and Amanda Middleditch are the resident bear repair pair. Oh, big Ted. Oh, he doesn't look very big, does he? Doesn't at the moment. He's looking a bit sad and sorry and needs some tender loving care, I think. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All right, let's go. Obviously empty. He's empty and, and he's, been in the car out? he's been in this bag for about 15 years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. Large. So he is Big Ted. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And we don't know what type he is. And OK. He was bought by my father in 1963 for my mum. Bought with a pay packet. I think it was £12 he cost. So... What possessed your dad to...? Well, I think my mum was 17 at the time, so right. they just started going out with each other, so I think young it was love. a young love, grandiose gesture, great big teddy bear. How did he get him home? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you'll have to ask On him. the bus, probably. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine him walking up the pathway to yeah. see her with this huge Absolutely, teddy. absolutely. Okay. I used to sit on his lap and read books when I was a young boy. You, you used to I, sit. So my, I would read, and uh, or my mum and dad would read to me while I was sitting on his lap. And then when my mum and dad moved up to the far north of Scotland, he came with us. And then he was about to be thrown out, so I emptied him out, put him in the bin bag. I was going to say, how said, did yeah. you come to be empty and Well, it was out, easier to so transport yeah, that way, yeah, and yeah. Uh, I moved. And then when I got married... Um, and Jessica came along ten years ago, I always said, we must get him repaired. Okay. Wow, so you've never actually seen him as a sort of stuffed, fluffy bear? You've, no. So you've never given wow. him a cuddle? No. What you know, might notice, and this is how we know who he's made by, is he's all one. He hasn't got separate ears. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, he that's was that's made that's by a company that's called that's Wendy Boston. And All Wendy right. Boston designed and made a bear that could be put through the mangle and then could be pegged on the washing line by its ears and they wouldn't fall off. So oh, if yeah. we can manage to get him back to how he was or as close to as we can, what, what's his future? He'll be Jessica's. Yeah. Have you got many? Too many sometimes. You can never have too many. That's <laughs> Do you know what? what I say, say that all the time. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to need a bigger car. I think maybe. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for nice bringing to him meet to you. us. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> He's been in that bag for probably about 15 years. I was just looking forward to seeing him uh, brought back to life and, and in a condition that we can use him again. It's going to be fun to see him back to full health and fully stuffed, isn't it, Jess? Yes.